The term cloud computing has been in the news a lot recently, thanks to technology journalist Matt Honan, who revealed that his entire digital life had been wiped away due to an alleged security breach at Apple and Amazon. But what the heck is cloud computing? I'm Chen Anak with CBS News Tech Talk, and I'm here with CNET senior editor Scott Stein. So Scott, what the heck is cloud computing? Well, it sounds complicated, but it's actually pretty basic. The idea is that you're using any hard drive or computer with information that's not in your home, you're accessing it somewhere else. So it could be stored on a server farm, somewhere at Google or Apple, and the idea is that it's not in your home, it's not on your computer. You're getting it elsewhere, that's cloud computing. Right, and we're using it in so many ways that we don't even realize. So. Right, and that you're using them, uh, if you're using Gmail, if you're using Facebook, if you're using Netflix, if you're on a Kindle <laughs> and you're reading <laughs> Kindle books, all of that stuff is a forms of cloud computing. Could be a storage locker or could be a way that they're giving you your information in the form of email or, or whatever, what have you. Corporations too. And to take it a step further, there are services like Dropbox, Google Drive, or iCloud that actually sync files from your tablet to your phone to your computer and the cloud. And that, yeah, that's the great idea now. Microsoft SkyDrive, Apple's iCloud, Amazon's digital services, um, everything that Google does with Google Docs. Um, you're seeing this at home. You're seeing this a lot in businesses where you don't have to have a computer that you have to stay at all the time. You can access everything. Your calendar is on the go. And increasingly, it's starting to feel like you don't even know whether it's on your computer or whether it's out there on the cloud somewhere else. That's the idea. It's meant to feel really seamless mm -hmm. and really comfortable. So let's back up for a second and talk about the security issue because uh, um, why don't you explain what happened to Matt Honan? Well, I mean, it sounded like hacking. What really was going on was more like phishing mm -hmm. in the sense that one of his accounts was compromised with information that came from another account. And that's a concern anywhere you go online uh, that you're sharing information like your home address or credit card info. Um, there's only so much you can do in that regard, but the best advice is to separate accounts when you can and not have information from one bleed over to the other so that somebody could daisy chain that. And there's also concern, of course, I mean, Steve Wozniak and others have talked about security of your information as far as companies accessing that and being and who able owns to, it? and who owns that information. Um, that's more of an idea of, uh, of, of comfort and what you're signing away. Um, but I think the, the immediate concern for a lot of people is more along the lines of can people breach and yeah. get that info or erase that information. So do you have any tips then for an average user that's getting into cloud computing? Well, first would be backing up. Just go right for backing up things in your home to a hard drive. $100 can buy you a ton of storage now. Mm -hmm. Little plug-in device. Yeah. Unplug it from your computer and just keep it in your home where no one's going to be able to get online to it for things like photos and, and documents, important personal stuff. And then for everything else, uh, try to keep those accounts separate. We have so many of them now. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to keep different emails or passwords um, or even different credit card numbers. That's not always easy, but do it as much as you can so that if somebody gets access to one account, say on Amazon, they can't leapfrog across and get into iCloud or to Google. And at least you can separate those off a little bit, although these services are starting to use so many intertwined elements, it's getting a little hard to keep track of. Right, and so what do you think about the future of the cloud now with new developments like Google Fiber. Where do you think we're going? Well, I think right now, so many software services and devices like tablets are using the cloud to phenomenal effect. So we're going to live on the cloud. But the speed of access is important. Not everybody has super fast data speeds. And that's where you feel slow down for things like Netflix. Google Fiber, you know, being able to increase the speed of your home broadband tremendously, I think that's where we're going to go and being able to use it wirelessly wherever you are to feel like you've always got that information on you is right. really where it's, it's going to happen. Right. Well, thank you. Um, CNET definitely has full coverage of cloud computing with privacy and security how-tos and um, tutorials. And for the latest in technology news, you can stick with us here on cbsnews.com.